Good morning. I know it's not the best lighting. I'm out taking the dogs out. It is <clears throat> Wednesday. Um, I got back Monday night with Mia from California. And um, I spent the morning yesterday like just doing laundry and unpacking. The dog just walked back there and there's a sensor. Um, but just unpacking and kind of straightening up from our trip. Um, and then I spent the afternoon taking apart um, a deck that a friend is giving me and so the deck is in really good condition I think it's only like maybe five years old they just didn't want it anymore and it was really good wood everything's really expensive right now so um, I am taking that apart to put at the property um, because eventually we are going to be getting a shed from my cousin I showed it in my last video we're gonna be getting a shed from my cousin to put on the property but because of the way the ground is and sometimes the way it rains and the way the water flows sometimes areas get a little bit more wet than others and so it'd be nice to have it lifted so the idea is to take the deck apart and then take it to the um, property and put the shed on so I was able to get a big chunk of no I lie I got the small chunk of the deck taken care of yesterday. Um, I just have to dig the cement posts out um, on that side. And then, um, which I don't think they're too badly cemented in. Um, but it took me three hours to do the small part of the deck yesterday. Um, part of that was because I just didn't know exactly how I was going to tackle it. I had used some new tools that I wasn't familiar with. Um, but I kind of got the hang of it now, but today just to make the process go a little bit faster because the, I'm doing the bigger deck and I've already taken like, I would say a quarter of the planks off. Um, I'm just calling in for reinforcements. My cousin, he's in from out of town and so he is willing to help me. So I am going to take the help, um, and the muscles to help me because just that little chunk of deck was so heavy to move. So that's what I'm doing today um, after I drop off Mia. So we removed all this. This is almost ready to be picked up and moved over there with those. So here's what the total stack looks like. Here's my foot for comparison, I guess. <laughs> and then there's this stack right here. I am exhausted and I'm covered in dirt. I took my shirt off, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spare you guys that, but look, I'm like tanned. But some of that I don't even think is tan. I think it is dirt. <laughs> that was a lot of work and I'm glad I got it done. I did have help today from my cousin. That's who you saw in the video and I'm really appreciative of his help today. Um, otherwise, I don't know if I would have finished the project today. But I'm going to shower up, spend time with Mia, and we'll see what adventures tomorrow's bring. Uh, we'll see what adventures tomorrow brings. And every part of my body is sore right now. Every part, like my fingers hurt. <laughs> I just got back from grocery shopping and I got a crap ton of groceries. So I'm not gonna do a whole haul because that would take forever and I have things I need to do and it's kind of boring, some of it. So 
I believe this is the next day I was cleaning my stock tank, tank stock tank pool, getting ready to put it away for the season. Um, but I could be wrong. It could be a few days after I'm so behind on recording for uh, my videos and uploading. But I was just getting the pool put away onto the side of the house for um, the winter season. I think this is like our third year with this pump. I've never replaced it, so. Yeah, th three years I think we've had that pump. All right, so just some things about a stock tank pool. It, our water here is really hard. And I think the combination of the galvanized metal, the hard water, you have a lot of, I think this is like a lime scale left over when we lift up the stock tank and sometimes some rust. Um, we do power wash it. Um, like once we pick up the stock tank and stuff like that, but there's always still like this residue that's left behind. So that might be something that you might want to think about. I think you could probably put a tarp down and that would protect the cement from getting like that. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I'm sure it bothers Renee. Um, but eventually I'll just get a carpet to put over it to keep it or to not make it so obvious or whatever. But I mean, ooh, it's slippery right there. But those are just some things to consider. Um, again, let me show you the stock tank. This, oh, I put the benches right here. Our HOA has never said anything about us having a stock tank here. It doesn't mean that they won't. Then we have to figure something out. But um, as you can see, it's rusted, especially like on the lip, pretty bad. Um, this is our second season with the stock tank. Um, I purposely didn't drill holes in it because I wanted that if we decided not to use this anymore, if we decided not to use it anymore, then we could always donate it to like somebody with a farm or something like that. So, um, that's why I didn't drill holes in it this last time. It worked fine. Um, I think it's just like aesthetic purposes if you want to drill the holes in it. Um, but yeah, I like our stock tank pool. It doesn't bother me, the rust or whatever. Maybe it's not good for me. I don't know. Comment down below. Um, but I mean, it does the job. I'll be working in the yard or going for a run in the summertime or me and I will be hanging out in the backyard or doing whatever and we'll just plunge in and get washed up. Um, if we don't use that stock tank anymore, um, we might switch to like one of those plastic pools. We used to have like the, we used to have like a seating little area out here, but we got rid of it. Um, and so now this area looks pretty sparse. Um, I'm letting everything dry really good before we go put it in the attic. Like I said earlier, I don't know if it's in an earlier post or comment, but, um, I've had this pump for like three years and it's still kicking, still going strong. Um, but I'm gonna rearrange some things so that it doesn't look so just sparse and empty. Although I kind of like it. Um, I did at one point want to get like a small little table to put out here, um, but Renee vetoed that. And I could see why it's a little narrow. Um, so do you have any ideas of what we could fill this area with? But at the same time, I don't want to fill it because I do like it to be kind of clean. Um, and I do not want to have to worry about trying to store it if we bring the stock tank next season. Hey guys, guess where we're at? We're back at the property. It feels like that's all I do is drop off stuff at the property, get stuff to take to the property. Eventually we're gonna do something on the property. <laughs> wow. Life is hard. We have property. Just never happened. This guy. This guy. So right now we're unloading part of the lumber or the deck that I took apart the other day. 
and we're just we can't really set it down like on the property itself like we're putting it off to the side um we're, we can't do any setup right now because the guy is going to come today to level the ground and stuff like that and kind of help us clean up the property to make it to where um everything's level i can bring a lawnmower in here and stuff like that um he's got like a big machine that can do all that and then we're going to take some of the loads of the um like bigger branches or trees that were knocked down and stuff like that and we're gonna get that cleaned up and loaded out so it's exciting i feel like in the next couple weeks they're gonna start seeing progress on the property um and i'm excited for that to like actually do things with the things that i've been collecting <laughs> So at this point in the week, I believe I've been doing like labor work um, as far as taking down the deck, putting up things and like heavy lifting for like over a week. And my body was a little bit tired. I'm very grateful and I'm very proud because I was strong enough to be able to do a lot of these things on my own. But at this point, I was exhausted. Shit, then. I did. Then I'm over here like helping you lift the, the same shit you lifted on your own. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'm calling bullshit. Huh? I'm calling bullshit. Why are you lifting this on your own? I didn't do this part on my own. My cousin helped me with that one, but there was one that I did that was bigger than this. Oh, I mean, heavier and bigger. But not this one. This one I but helped. I was like, but I did a bigger and heavier one, but this one's harder. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, I'm going to need help because I'm not going to be able to do this all by myself. I need to grab one. There's a pad to grab it? Pattern. Oh. It's running crazy. Look at everybody crazy working on you. Why? Because everything's like, what? What? Just grab and go. Because I don't want to miss any parties. No, you just want to do it your way. Watch your back. Who doesn't want to do it their way? A lot of people. They do it as a team. I just like to look to make sure there's no critters. And I'm sorry if I need to. Yeah, this is the critter. You keep going. Okay. Okay. You have to be. You. I know you're fatigued. I'm fatigued, babe. We're all fatigued. My. I have blisters on my hands. 
<laughs> That's why we're doing it together. It's easy. Right here, this one. Thank you, babe. Why is so many leaves here? <laughs> Is that like crazy? So, let's take the part that. Jack? Yeah. I only came because, like, there's a family of mice. And I was like, oh, I wonder if they're like. You know how we have natural disasters, you know? And they're like, oh, all cozy in their home for five years. And then all of a sudden they come in and... Good. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, oh. Like, I wonder if they're like, oh, we have to rebuild. You know? No. Like, they had a really nice little area. I don't think about the damn mice. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like... I don't think about the mice. No? No. I like the movie, uh, with the mice. Like the Chewy. Like the Chewy. And the one. Sometimes I need a break, okay? Yeah. I'm not a machine. We're almost done having a break. Get to get some. Mm. Here's the before. Hey guys, it's me popping in. I look like a mess. This room is a mess. Since I stopped working, my goal has been to tackle this room. And it's like literally, I do everything else except for work on this room. And to be honest, it's not gonna get done today at all. I am, um, I'm just jumping on here because I think the last thing you're gonna see in this video, I don't know because this is, oh my gosh, but, um, I think the last thing you're going to see is me showing you guys all the things that we're doing to our property or that are about to happen to our property. And so I want to go ahead and put that video up, but I didn't want to just like leave without saying goodbye and let you guys know that it's been a few weeks since I've even vlogged. Nothing crazy has been going on. I've just been really busy with um, actually subbing. I've been subbing at a couple different schools and stuff like that and volunteering a lot at Mia's school. So that just kept me really busy. And honestly, I've been avoiding this chaotic mess. But no more. No more. So I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for 25 minutes. I'm going to try to get this clean. I'm not going to show any of it because, y'all, it's bad. But I just wanted to jump and say goodbye and look out for the next video. Maybe I'll put this cleaning up stuff in the next video but I doubt it it's just too much it's so much I need help send help <laughs>